Welcome to the alternative future of the world five. What the well, four? It's the fourth movie. If you are guessing, and this is World War Seven. Yeah, World War Seven. Yeah, World War Seven's happening. I think I think I ended it. I think I ended this. I think I ended World. No, that was World War Six. Well, we are starting to see a unification take place during the war. That was between whatever this country's name was. Unite with Russia. And this is huge. And nobody saw this coming. In the South, North Africa and Nigeria are working. But Nigerian troops, they, they are finding a way to split these countries up. Because they were all conquered. Except for this one, they, they, they join South Africa, so yeah, so this would go to them, this would go to them, oh gosh, did I forget Somaliland exists, yeah Somaliland exists. yeah Somaliland should have changed, I didn't mean to change Somaliland, we need to change Somali land. Right, there you go, so there's Somali land. And a lot of people start to realize that India was actually playing the red. And they joined the blue side. And this is a huge loss as they are finding a way to carve up what used to be China. India finds the perfect way. They give uh, some to Vietnam. The rest, they give all of this, this, And they get all of this. And then the rest of China becomes a republic. Yeah, the rest of China becomes a republic. The rest of China has become a republic. Including these guys. These guys became a republic. And a huge, huge, massive... After seven world wars, China has been in. They officially collapse in the seventh one. The seventh world war. The seventh world war. And now the whole world sitting in neutral China. This has caused many to believe that World War Seven is odd that another world war would happen anyways. As Nigeria and them make a peace treaty to stand together, as, as a lot of people are starting to become a lot more peaceful. You would think, but the whole African front is down and World War Seven is seeing its end. Its end in massive makers of war. Many countries believe that Turkey left this war and these guys and Russia just because they knew World War 7 was not going to end and red. It was going to end with them being carved up like China. Which Russia had done before, but then it rose up. It grew. It kept growing. It fought many wars, it fought many deaths, as, as the whale do, the whale do, how strong they were, how strong they were, how strong they stood, 
the strongness they would. The, and uh, the IB union? Yeah, and yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure what we know what's gonna happen. Cause we knew what happened to Africa. We knew what happened to uh, the European Union. We knew what happened to the F South African Union, the South American Union. Why do I call it the South African Union? No. The world knows how the world believes. And it's starting to be carved up again. As people knew that World War 7. Wait. I was just making sure, just making sure. Now, World War 7 probably all begun. Like World War 6 and World War 5. Probably begun. World War Six begun by North and South America going to war. Or was that World War Five? I think that was World War Six. And now they have to split up the countries as they find a way to split them up. As the world knew that this the union wasn't gonna go on forever. So Brazil got all of this. And Chile was given a lot of land gains. Like Chile as a country is just almost took over the whole entire coast. Argentina got all of this taken away. All of these guys got a lot of land. Uh Colombia got all of this. Venezuela. Oh no, this is Colombia. This is Venezuela. A huge new country formed. Paraguay. Bolivia. These guys had Ecuador. No, Equatorial Guinea. Ecuador. Or is that how you say it? I don't, I don't think so, but here's the new map of South America, and there's a lot more countries. Move up here. We all knew that it was going to end with Mexico not getting all the land back, but, you know, they're not getting this back. Or what's called New Panama. Yeah, it's called New Panama. I don't know why they named it New Panama, but. And it's just the same. And this is the North American Union. North Union is basically gonna collapse. Perhaps, but it, it doesn't because a lot of people still like it. But it has to go in the peace treaty. So in the peace treaty of whatever century this is, Canada loses a lot of land. And the United States officially has an empire uh, of its end. The uh, first thing they do after the World War VII will end. You know, India has its influence all around the world. The in Indian influence is so huge, in fact. That start that its influence is starting to get bigger than the United States, and the United States they don't like that. So they're like, you want to pull it on, you want to pull it, and they and alliances weren't a thing until now. A huge new alliance called the Anti-Indian Expansion Movement is happening, and it's with a lot of countries all in Asia, a lot of countries in Asia. All of these guys joined the alliance, including Turkey and Russia. Russia joined the alliance, afraid of being invaded. And Vietnam, they're scared. Thailand, they're scared. What's, what? But what? Thailand's scared. China's scared. And Korea's scared. 
I, I, so, basically all of Asia is scared of India. All countries surrounding India is scared, and also I'm doing an Indian Empire video. Y'all know how I did if Spain formed an empire. I'm going to be doing if Portugal formed another empire, which will combine these two videos into one, the Portugal Empire, because this is the final Yes, the fourth movie is the final, yes. I was recording the fourth movie and the third movie, but the third movie got lost. So this is basically the fifth movie. And India hated this. And they declared war. And the alliance. Which this caused people to believe that India had something good. The influence was too widespread, but India used something that the world didn't want to use. It was the greatest nuclear bomb that wiped out all of Asia. It even wiped some parts out of Europe. It basically wiped out all of this. All of this was going in a single bomb. A single nuclear weapon. The whole world knew that this would get bigger, and it got bigger. As 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 one country that knew that they were gonna collapse, all of South America launches nukes to destroy all of the Americas. <laughs> they nuclear bomb destroy all of South America, including the other continents. As a huge nuclear war has just broken out. One landed in Europe, one landed here, 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 one landed here. And the whole world was in a nuclear war. And the whole world knew they were gonna die. As one last station in Mexico made the idea and finally left us again to meet the humans that were up in Mars. To destroy the fate. They grabbed, they remembered all the memories. And they had all the artifacts of the old world. They had all the artifacts of everything. They had all history. They had all the history for the 2000, for the other, for the about 7,000 years of modern history. As the world collapsed, that's the ultra physic stage. The ultra physics era ended in just a nuclear war. The whole world gone. Every single place gone. And yes, y'all probably wondering why did I make this video so short? Well, this is the end, and we are about to get to what if Portugal won the empire. That's the end, y'all. This this is the end. So I hope y'all enjoyed the final movie. And here is that if Portugal for a bit empire. Bye. Y'all.